Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Mentor team. In this video, we looked at how to install a server certificate on Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services, also referred to as AES. We will be using the Avaya Aura System Manager as a certificate authority. First, we will look at how to create the AES certificate on System Manager. Log into System Manager. Once logged in, browse to Services, Security, Certificates, and then Authority. Next, click on Add End Entity. For the End Entity profile, you want to select Inbound Outbound TLS. Provide a username and then a password of your choice. Next, in the Common Name field, enter the host name of your AES. Then provide additional information about your company. Providing subject alternative name information is optional. In my case, I'm entering the fully qualified domain name as well as the IP address of the AES server. Under the main certificate data section, for token, select P12 file. When you have finished all the required information, click on add and you should receive a confirmation message at the top of the page. Next, we will download the AES certificate as well as the CA or Trusted Certificate chain from the System Manager. From the menu on the left, click on Public Web and a new browser tab should open. From this tab, click on Create Key Store and enter the username and password that you provided on the previous page. Choose the desired key length and then click on Enroll. The new certificate should automatically start downloading to your PC. From the same page, we need to download the CA or Trusted Certificate for this authority. For AES, we want to download the PEM chain. During the next step, we need to install the certificates using the AES Management Console. The AES Management Console can be reached by browsing to HTTPS followed by the IP address of the AES. You can log in as the CUST user which will have permissions to install the certificates. Browse to Security, Certificate Management, then CA Trusted Certificates. From here we will import the CA Trusted Certificate. Select the System Manager CA chain.pem file. Then provide a certificate alias of your choice. You will receive a warning advising to restart AE Server, which we will do after we also imported the new AES Server Certificate. You should now see the new CA Trusted Certificate in the list. Next click on Server Certificates and then click on Import. Again we need to browse to where the files were saved but this time select the P12 file. Leave Established Chain of Trust checked and then select the certificate alias you want to use. Then you will have to supply the password you entered during the certificate creation process. Because we chose the alias of server, we are advised to restart both AE services and the web server. Even though we haven't restarted yet, you should already see the new server certificate listed. The last step to perform is to restart the web server and AE services. It should be noted that this is a service affecting step and any applications connected to this AES will lose connectivity for about 5 minutes. Restarting the AES web server takes roughly 2 minutes to complete and you may have to refresh your browser if you are not automatically redirected back to the login screen. Log back into the AES and then proceed to restart AE services.
To restart AE services, click on Restart AE Server and then click on Restart. This restart takes roughly two to three minutes to complete. Once AE services has been restarted, the management console should automatically update, showing the services in a running state. That concludes this video on adding new certificates to a via Aura application enablement services. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.